The number one reason black men must build businesses. Now in this video, I'm not gonna talk about the economic benefits that come along with being a business owner. I'm not even gonna talk about the tax benefits or the societal benefits because as we know, the only two demographics with any power and influence in the United States and in the world, period, are business owners and property owners. And yes, this video was somewhat inspired by the scandal surrounding Kanye West and Kyrie Irving. As we know, many people are upset. Many people are jealous at the amount of power that a certain community holds within the palm of their hand, right? But that source of power comes from their intelligence, discipline, and business development. All three characteristics that black men can embrace and establish a position of power for ourselves as well, instead of sitting on the sidelines and pointing out how another group of men are very powerful in the area of business and sounding like a bunch of haters. I'ma tell y'all, y'all sound like a bunch of haters, man. Y'all sound like a bunch of haters because I already know if the roles were reversed, we would be going 10 times as hard as they do to protect our image, to protect our people. At least I would because I have dignity and I have pride and I have honor in my identity. You know, maybe you don't, but I do. Now, I just want to give my brothers some cold, harsh facts. In this world, as it stands right now, people only respect you if they have to answer to you. And as it stands right now, not many people have to answer to black men. And when I say answer to black men, I mean having the power to literally starve people and have them out on the streets. That's what I'm talking about. That type of power. If you want that type of power in society, you have to start focusing on business development you have to become an owner you have to become a architect you have to become a creator you have to become a builder you have to become a founder you have to become a ceo you have to become a boss right people have to answer to you when people have to answer to you they respect you when people have to answer to you they fear you when people have to answer to you they pledge allegiance to you whether they want to or not because you hold in the palm of your hand the ability to feed them or starve them to enrich them or to finish them and listen when i was in high school my father went into business for himself and i seen the way that people would operate with him. Now, of course, you know, I respected my father. I obeyed my father since birth, but to see his employees, how they operate with him, you know, the respect and the esteem they give him, you know what I mean? When he comes around, they straighten up, you know, they get to work. You know, I seen that as a young boy, I seen the difference, you know what I mean? So if black man, you want that type of respect in society, the only way you're gonna get it is by being a business owner, is by being a person who gives opportunities to people is by being a boss, is by being the person that cuts the check, is by being the person that puts food on people's table. Not only your own family's table, but the tables of other families as well. Now we see how Kanye and Kyrie Irving have been pretty much obliterated in the past couple weeks. Why? Because that group of men that they disrespected is responsible for putting hundreds of millions of dollars in their pockets, enriching their family bloodlines to levels that they would have never been able to do on their own right with the infrastructure that they created you got to understand these two men kanye and Kyrie, for example they did not create the infrastructure of which they are currently enjoying of which set the platform and the stage for them to make the millions of dollars that they are currently being able to make and generate for their families that is why when they step out of pocket when they step out of line those men smack them across the face like a prostitute walking the blade on figueroa you cannot bite the hand that feeds you and if you do bite the hand that feeds you get ready to get smacked with that same hand that was feeding you now black men if you want that type of power in society the only way to obtain it is by focusing on business development right you wonder why people can get on social media and talk about you any which way talk about you like a dog talk about you like a vagabond because guess what they don't have to answer to you. There's no repercussions that you can lay down on them. You got to understand we no longer live in the age of emperors and kings and warriors and hunters and conquerors, right? The modern day emperors and kings are the businessmen of today. The men that own large companies, the millionaires and billionaires. Those are the modern day emperors. Those are the modern day kings. Those are the men that influence society in their image. Those are the men that fund politicians to act as mouthpieces for their agendas. And if black men, if you want that type of influence and power and respect in society, you are going to have to focus on business development, point blank period. I'm not trying to hear nothing about the evils of capitalism. Oh, the evil capitalism. Listen, man, the only way you're gonna get respect in this world is by being a capitalist point blank period if you want people to think twice before they go on social media and disrespect you you have to become a successful capitalist as a collective it can't just be one black businessman no it has to be legions it has to be whole armies of black businessmen across the globe just like that certain community that's smacking up Kyrie and kanye you'll notice they're located 
all across the globe. They're in Europe. They're in New York. They're in the islands. They're in Haiti. They're in the Dominican Republic. They're over here. They over there. They behind the wall. They in the closet. They getting money all over the place in several different ways. Listen, that's the only way you're going to get respected in this world, man. You are going to have to focus on business development. Listen, the only two demographics on the planet and especially in the United States that hold influence are business owners and property owners. Just last night, there was the midterm elections, right? And everyone is blaming black men because the Democrats were not very successful in the midterm elections. Everybody just insulting black men, calling us stupid, calling us dumb, calling us this, that, and the third, calling us every name in the book. Do you think you could address those men from a certain community, the small hat community, with the same level of disrespect and venom? Do you think you can insult them in the same way that black men get insulted on a daily basis? No, you cannot because they will lay the hammer down on you. It doesn't matter who you are, from the bum on the street to the rich guy in the NBA, to the billionaire rap superstar, you will get smacked up and you will get put in your place because those men have put in years and decades and centuries into business development. And before I go, let me just leave out on a personal anecdote, right? In New York, they have what is called a PBA card. I believe it's a police something association card, right? I don't know what it's called, but I have one. My father gave me one. He got one from, I don't know where he got one from, but I was actually driving without a license one day, driving without a license. I had marijuana in the car. You know what I mean? I was smoking in the car. didn't have my license on me. I was going to the deli to get a sandwich and I got stopped by the cops. And guess what? I gave him that card and it's essentially a, you know, get out of jail free card, essentially, you know, for like misdemeanor charges, small charges, gave him that card. Homie, let me go, man. Homie, let me go. Didn't even take my weed. Didn't even bring me in. Didn't even have my license on me. I was able to go get my sandwich and drove home. Why? Because I come from a family of business owners and property owners. Now, I might have just had a really good cop that day. You know, if I had a bad cop, they might have just said, man, take your black ass, you know what I'm saying, in the back of the police car. But it is what it is, man. It's just more influence and power in this society when you are a business owner and a property owner. So until black men focus on business development, you know, we're not going to get the respect that we desire in society, point blank, period. As a collective, as an individual, you can carve out a lane for yourself. But as a collective, you know, you're going to be defenseless. You're going to be out on your own. You're going to be unprotected. Right. With no insulation. So I just wanted to drop that message from our brothers on this early morning. It's your boy Nefakari Dessaline back in the building. Yes, indeed. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, sh now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genus. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Pay for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They make a no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art. And they can never be taught Selling my soul I can never be bought Play all my money I see you ain't caught Run to the check And I do it for sport Babylon falling I go to the source Packing my luggage And go overseas Shorty be with me And she so at least Shorty be charged And I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence Probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands Cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit And you're smacking their faces